Hello and welcome to Lake Street News, your favorite local news network. I'm Jack. And I'm Max. Tonight we've got stories about e-cigarettes, Cornell, emergency services, and more. ICSD is set to receive more than $8,000 in a class action lawsuit against e-cigarette companies. The lawsuit alleges tobacco company Altria, part of the infamous jewel conglomerate, fostered a, quote, vaping epidemic, unquote, among teens. ICSD is among at least 6,000 co-plaintiffs in the class action lawsuit, around a quarter which being school districts, which has been estimated to cost Altria more than $230 million. Altria says that they are very disheartened to hear that their biggest customers seem to be fighting against them. Danger, danger. Reports show that Tompkins County Emergency Services take an average of 13 minutes to reach residents after 911 was called. For context, the national average is 4 minutes. The entire county only has four emergency service agencies, which have record low numbers of staff. Meanwhile, the population has only gone up. In response, a new response team is being created in order to deal with medical emergencies where an ambulance is not needed. Funding has been an issue, but great efforts have been made. Anyway, let's move on before one story takes up half the episode. After an investigation that spanned several days, the individual responsible for posting anti-Semitic threats towards Cornell's Jewish community has been identified as an is in custody. The individual is none other than 21-year-old Cornell student Patrick Dye. He was identified following an investigation by the FBI, IPD, and other crime-fighting organizations. The charges against Dye could lead to, lead to at least five years in prison or a fine of up to $250,000. On November 1st, Ithaca police responded to a burglary on the 500 block of West State. The suspect entered through a window that they broke, but fled the scene before the police came. The suspect, Richard Howells, has been charged with third-degree burglary and a Class D felony. IHS is premiering its fall play, Clue, named after the board game of the same name in the Black Box Theater. The shows take place on 7 p.m. on the 17th, 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. on the 18th, and 7 p.m. on the 19th. The play follows six mysterious characters, all based on the board game players, as they try to figure out who has killed their host. Thank you for watching Lake Street News. And have a great week. You know, daylight savings, that's so stupid. Like, why is it dark out at 4 p.m. now? Like, what's the I'm point not of trying anyway? to go to sleep at 4 p.m. and then wake up at midnight. I do not understand the purpose of, like, daylight savings existing, though. Well, yeah, that's why people are trying to change it now. Oh, they are? I didn't actually Yeah, some people that. are. I didn't actually know.